It's important to think through um, peer review as part of a, a wider kind of culture of talking about teaching and, and using it as a, a stimulus to have those conversations with your colleagues. I mean, I'm really lucky. I teach mostly in large teaching teams, so I pretty much always have a co-convener and I have a group of um, tutors who I work with. And so there's lots of opportunities for having those conversations, for talking about, well, did that really work? And, you know, how are these spaces going? What's happening with the technology in the, in the group? Have we pitched this reading too high or too low? All of those kinds of things that make such a big difference with teaching. So peer review can be part of that. And I've often used peer review as a convener with my, my team of relatively inexperienced tutors as a way of ensuring that um, there's consistency across the team, that we're teaching in similar sorts of ways, and that we're supporting our junior colleagues in developing their skills, but also as a way of learning from them. I mean, some of the best feedback I've ever had has been by sitting in on um, um, the classes of people who are PhD students tutoring in my units, or, or people who'd only just started teaching who are really fresh and have lots of interesting ideas. So um, quite often I've found that the things I've really learned have actually been from being an observer rather than necessarily being observed. So I think it's, it's really important to reframe peer review, not as a, you know this scary situation where a manager's checking out what you're up to and making sure that you've, you know, you've got the right competences. Really thinking about it more as a set of opportunities to, to share experience with your colleagues, share strategies with your colleagues, and sort of making it just one moment in a whole series of occasions where you can kind of comfortably talk about things you're worried about in your teaching, things you want to develop, anxieties you might have. I mean, one of the things I've always found incredibly useful about, um, about peer review is it starts, it sparks off possibilities, it sparks off, uh, you know, the alternative ways of doing things. Because teaching is, you can teach well in so many different ways. That's what, you know, 20 years of teaching has taught me. You just, there's lots of different ways to do it well. So I think that peer review is really more about reflecting what's productive about that experience? How can we as participants in that learning occasion give students more of an opportunity to, to develop their own understandings? So it's much should be much less, I think, about or how skillful am I? Am I as good as, you know, um, uh, you know Jack that's just won that teaching and learning award? Um, am I as good as him or am I a bad teacher? It's less about thinking, thinking about teaching as, as on this sort of linear scale and more about thinking about that occasion of learning, how we can enhance it as a group of people working together.